Hi everyone and welcome to Only War Game News. The Espinete Guargamero team, led by Jordi Calvo and including Arnaldo Matute and Jose Valdemaras, with Carlos Marquez as the English voice, brings you the last two weeks of War Game News. We start with the news. PSC Games is shipping to the stores copies of Britannia after its success in the Kickstarter campaign. Britannia is a classic game from our beloved Avalon Hill Company and it comes with some innovations. The most important one is a new system for two players. Also, the game comes with miniatures instead of counters, which contributes to a new, spectacular look. Holland Spilly brings us District Commander Kandahar. Designed by Brian Train, this is a two-player game, not easily adaptable to solitaire play. District Commander Kandahar is a medium complexity war game with a duration around two hours and a half, and it recreates the problems that the insurgency and counterinsurgency commanders had in southern Afghanistan in 2009-2010. District Commander Kandahar is the third volume of the District Commander series. High Flying Dice Games brings us a long, hard road, the Battle of Dubno. Designed by Paul Rorbo and Bruce Yerian, it is a classic, medium-complexity hex and counter game for two players, with a duration between 150 and 210 minutes. It recreates the first great confrontation between armored formations in the Eastern Front during the Second World War. Compass Games is shipping its Dawn's Early Light, The War of 1812 to the stores. Designed by David McDonough, it's a card-driven game for two players which recreates the fighting between the United States and Great Britain in 1812. Dawn's Early Light allows interaction between politics, economics and military affairs. Next, we move on to pre-orders. Compass Games has started taking pre-orders for Operation Crusader Designer Signature Edition. Designed by Fred Chadwick, for two players but easily playable alone, the new version of this classic monster game comes back with a new, more direct system, boosting playability without losing the original essence of the game. Also from Compass Games we have Carrier Battle, Philippine Sea. Designed by John Southard, it is a solitaire game that recreates the greatest carrier battle in history during the Saipan invasion in June 1944. The game is based on Carrier, the 1990s classic from Victory Games, but it is a new game with nine scenarios, four of which allow new players to learn the system. Multiman Publishing is reprinting the module ASL Rising Sun, designed by Bob McNamara. This volume, number 13 in the series, includes the Code of Bushido and Gang Ho, and it incorporates the 32 scenarios with 16 more from the classic general magazine. Multiman Publishing also brings us ASL Trio, where three ASL scenarios packs are put together. Best of Friends 2, Action Pack 15 Swedish Volunteers and ASL Roma 2020. From Revolution Games, the pre-order for the war game The Deadly Woods, The Battle of the Bulge, is already available. This is a hex and counter war game for two players designed by Ted Racer, but easily playable alone and it uses a modified version of the Chick activation system in the Dark Valley. Next, funding news. Draco Ideas will open its new Kickstarter, Help Arrives, on October the 13th. It will close on October the 27th. Designed by Nicolas Scooby, Help Arrives is a new volume of the Warm Storm series, but it is a standalone game and it does not require any previous volumes in the series to play it. Help Arrives is a tactical game which will bring us to the Spanish Civil War, where officers' tactical skills will be crucial in the development and outcome of the battles. Worthington Publishing is seeking funding for Hidden Strike, American Revolution, designed by Maurice Suckling and Dorian Richard. This is a card-driven game that will allow players to recreate the American Revolution. It is a game for 1 to 5 players, and its estimated playing time is between 1 and 2 hours. Finally, Dan Versen Games is seeking financing for Warfighter Fantasy, 
designed by Dan Versen. Warfighter Fantasy is, a, is an expansion for the Warfighter series, set in a fantasy world. This is a card game for one to six players where you will play cooperatively to complete the scenarios. And yes, if you are wondering about the compatibility between this expansion and the other games in the series, they are fully compatible. So you can bring in your shield team to kill that dragon in the cave. We hope you enjoyed only Wargame News. See you in two weeks.